Theater is something that has always interested uh, my co-director, Leah Smith, and I. We both participate in it, I'm a professional actor, so we thought, what better a subject for this documentary? In order to fully explore theater, we decided we should explore the minds of people who participate in theater. Unfortunately, we couldn't access many people who are professionally involved, so we took a student angle. Here we have interviews from many students currently at Westdale involved in theater, and throughout, sprinkled around, we have an interview with one Camille Insen, a good friend of mine who chose not to pursue performance but is still very involved in the arts. Now, her interview I have left largely unedited, in case you're wondering why it seems so strange. Here's why. She has a very interesting mind, and I felt, and so did my co-director Leah Smith, that it would be good for the viewer to take a look into the mind of someone who participates in theater. Who better for that than Camille Linson? You have a wonderful day, and enjoy the show. I've literally filmed this five times. Okay, so my first question is, what did I choose to do my university degree in? And my answer is a little bit complicated, but long story short, right now I'm doing an honor specialization in English language and literature, and a major in theater performance studies <coughs> at Western University. And I have a little bit of a complicated relationship with that. So I actually applied to Western uh, to go in for political science, and I was accepted. And so I was in the poli-sci program, I suppose, for about three months when I realized I didn't like it, um, which I always thought that political science was the precedent to law, and I've always been very interested in, in going into law. That was something that, I don't know, uh, cultivated within me within uh, probably like 11th grade. But... <coughs> So I thought that was a, a good good idea to go for poli sci, but I became really involved in the artistic communities, sort of in the university, and I became involved in theater. And so, I was in an enriched English classroom, and enriched English was my elective. Uh, but ironically, I ended up switching into that major because, well, I don't know why I didn't figure this out earlier, but I've always been very very interested in English English literature. In high school, I was obsessed with Chekhov. I would read his short stories and his plays between classes, or instead of going to class because I didn't go. <laughs> um, and I was obsessed with with Catherine Mansfield, and I was starting to get into Virginia Woolf, who's my favorite favorite writer. But um, I was also really into mythology and epic Greek poetry back in high school and into Shakespeare. So I don't know, I, I figured I had, I had a love of that, but it wasn't fully developed. And so I, I was able to get into this classroom with Professor Bentley, who is a, a, a professor at, at Western who specializes in Victorian literature. And I loved him so much. And I loved the class, and I got really into John Milton in Paradise Lost, <laughs> like really into it, like obsessively so. So um, I don't know, I figured that I, English was where I belonged. And in, in terms of performance studies, it's a study of, of theater and performance, but not in terms of acting. It's a lot of it's historical and, and theory-based and, and psychological. So it's a actually really interesting. Where are you going to school next year and what for? Uh, next year I'll be going to OCAD University in Toronto for illustration. How long have you been doing theater? I've been doing theater since I was in grade four. What do you love about theater? Uh, I love the diversity of it, the fact that it like, really knows no boundaries. What made you choose not to go get a theater degree? Um, I just found that my passion was more in visual arts than performing arts, and that I would pursue painting and illustrating more than I would pursue acting, whether it be film or uh, stage. Are you going to continue doing community theater and theater outside of school? As much as I can, I would love to. If like I have the time between like working and going to school, I would love to still be involved in theater. Second question is, what is my relation? Oh, what's my favorite thing about theater? Um, this is a hard question to answer because my relationship with the performing arts has, has changed drastically over the past couple years. But I've always loved it. When I was a, a child, it was just a I don't know, a way to express myself in different mediums, different ways, I suppose. But now I think my favorite thing about theater, um, besides the, the open communities it fosters, is just having the power and the ability to tell stories. That's a horrible answer. Uh, but, but I think that's what it is. I, uh, when I was a kid, <coughs> I acted because it was sort of like self-centered, because I, I liked being on stage and I liked being the center of attention and I liked 
you know, the, what it did to me. But as I'm growing older and, and as I'm becoming more involved in writing and in, in that medium, I love sort of how the telling of stories can affect multitudes of audiences of people, um, not just kind of me on stage exploring my, I don't know, identity in the abstract or whatever. Um, I love how theater can, can, can bring people together, and I love how... Um, I'm so bad at answering questions. Jeez, I should have a teleprompter. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I love, how th I love, again, I love the open communities that it fosters, and I love how um, it can just make you think in so many different ways. It's a cheesy answer, but it's kind of true. What made you choose to take drama again after grade nine? Uh, I really loved it in, when I was doing it in grade nine, and I've been doing it since I was in grade seven. What do you like about drama class? I like the freedom to be yourself by being someone else. Do you participate in drama outside of school? I do. I go to the um, creative theater company where I've been going since I was in grade 7. And why do you choose to participate in that? Um, I just really love the feeling of acting and how it makes you feel inside. Are you going to continue taking drama throughout high school? Yes. Are you considering pursuing a career in theater? That, that is what my plan is. Why? Because, like I said, I love the emotion that it creates and just the way it feels. Next question that I will answer not well is why have I chosen to write and not perform? Oh, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. I never grew up with this sort of preconceived idea that I'm going to be a writer. I was have been writing since I was a kid uh, poetry fiction whatever but I never <coughs> sort of internalized that until very recently when I started writing for the stage I like many things in my life I have this motto and it's the motto of my life is fuck it so I um, there was an open call for scripts uh, for a one act festival at my university and I thought I would submit a play for shits and it got uh, picked and to be produced and I've just never stopped. I think I like it a lot more because one of the things that turned me off from acting was the fact that women are so misrepresented in theater that is in the public eye. Like if you look at so many productions that are, are so many shows that are popularly produced, you get a lot of Arthur Millers, you get a lot of musicals with stock, um, you know, stock roles for women, whereas men are the men are the subject and women are the apprentice or whatever, whatever, however you want to call it. And I think I got sick of playing those stock roles, and I hated that, even throughout high school. It really bothered me. And then um, I think it was my relationship to playwriting flourished with my obsessive relationship with literature. And I think, and I think that just the two influenced one another, and all of a sudden I was in doing an English degree, and I was a writer. So, I mean, <laughs> but I, I definitely think, I think, I said this before, but telling stories gives you an incredible amount of power to help and influence and touch other people and to think in new ways and to expand um, your mind along with the constraints of genre. So I don't know. I've just become into it and also I like it and uh, I can do it instead of paying attention in my classes. What made you choose to take drama again after grade nine? Well, I always liked drama class and um, our teacher promised us that we would go to New York and London. So that was kind of a push for me. But it was always really, really fun, and I love acting, so. What else do you like about drama class? I liked um, how we had a lot of free time that we just got a, we didn't have a lot of deadlines. And also, it was a great place to make new friends if you're new at the school, because you get to like communicate with everyone and always be in groups with different people. Do you participate in drama outside of school? Yeah, I attend the creative theater company uh, that my friend introduced me to, and it's every Monday after school. Why did you choose to do that? Because uh, I want to pursue a career in acting after I graduate from high school and university. Are you going to continue taking drama throughout high school? Yes, I hope to. And you said you're considering pursuing a career in theater. Why? Um, well, every t Every time I, just, I watch movies and shows, I kind of feel like that's what I really want to do. It looks like a lot of fun, and it's just a great experience. So, the last question I'm going to answer for this thing is, 
um, can you imagine yourself doing anything else? So right now, I I guess my like other job. This is so weird, but I I am I am a playwright. I'm in the Playwrights Guild of Canada. I have work being produced across the country. So I guess I'm a playwright um, in the theater. But can I imagine myself doing something else? Yeah, and I'm going to do something else. I <laughs> I am of the opinion that you know, especially when it comes to you know artists being artists or career whatever that um, you know the world presses certain narratives ingrains certain narratives in your mind so it's like you're either a real artist or you're a corporate sellout you know what I mean like or you are you either went to theater school and you're a you're a properly trained theater artist or you didn't and you're a wannabe or you're an amateur like there's all these binaries that exist within the artistic community and I think that's bull um, but I mean, me, I'm, I'm a unique case because I didn't, you know, I didn't go through university saying, I'm going to be a theater artist. That kind of came to me in first year halfway through when I realized I didn't want to be in poli-sci. Um, but I am writing my law school admission test, my LSAT this year. I intend on going to law school if I get in. That would be really nice. But I also want to do a master's in English literature. So it, it's just, I don't think... Um, I, I want to confine myself to a genre or a career path just yet. I'm just kind of um, saying screw it every day, and my life motto is fuck it, and that's how I got into theater. But um, I'm just saying screw it. I'm having fun, and I'm I'm just doing what I love right now and hoping that that benefits me in the long run. But I can't imagine myself doing something else because I think that we as a species are in constant evolution. We are not confined to you know, societal narratives, and if I want to be a lawyer who also writes, I can do that, and if I want to be a theater creator who also, I don't know what other job I could do, I don't want to teach, I hate kids, but I mean, yeah, I could do whatever I want, so yes, I could, we're in evolution, I don't know.